Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Sword of Convalaria. In today's video, I wanted to discuss with you guys a mistake that you should avoid at all costs, especially if you are a free-to-play player. So this mistake is pretty much associated with your characters. So when I take a look at my characters, you guys can see for the Ascension, you pretty much need uh, these memories, pretty much I'll call them shards. You need shards in order for you to ascend your characters. And the number one way for you to get a lot of shards is by summoning four units and getting multiple copies on them. But Sword of Convalaria, they ended up implementing a system where you can pretty much get shards for free. So if I come over here to Voyage, Voyage and I enter Crossing Worlds, you can head on over to Memory Retrieval. So once you progress through the story, you'll be able to unlock this feature. Now, as you guys can see, I can literally get shards which is really really good so if you are a free-to-play player you can pretty much progress through memory retrieval and get shards for units now you can attempt this once per day and the more stages you clear the more shards you can get so for stage one you're able to get four for stage five you can get five and i'm pretty sure for stage uh if i go to stage three uh you're able to get six so the more stages you complete the more shards you can get uh, pretty much daily so this is the mistake so once you enter memory retrieval it's going to cost 40 stamina so we're going to enter memory retrieval and i didn't realize this but thanks to a certain individual on my last video they commented and pretty much told me what to not do and i was able to realize that yes this is a major mistake so when you look at this right here on the left it says dropping so it says total shark reward five so once I clear this stage, I'm going to get five shards in total. Now, here's the major mistake. So if I take out all these units, right? I take out Gloria, I take out Ruia, uh, Matha. Let's say I put in Night Raven, right? As you guys can see, I get three shards for Night Raven. And it says total shard rewards five. And it says minimum combat combatants two. So you don't want to use epic heroes for memory retrieval and the reason why is because you can get a ton of copies of epic heroes by simply summoning four legendary units the fact that you're able to get you know really nice like the fact that you're able to get a nice amount of copies of epic heroes and you can get more copies of them through summoning there's really no need for you to waste you know memory retrieval to get more copies on epic units so the fact that it says minimum combatants too what you want to do is you only want to deploy the legendary heroes that you want more copies of. So let's say Gloria, for example. I put in Gloria. Look look how many shards I get. I get three shards. But of course, I have to put in a couple more legendaries. And then, as you guys can see, I can get two to three. So I definitely recommend you guys to use two legendary heroes or you can use three. If it's too difficult, then you can use three. But you don't want to go, you know... I'll say you don't want to implement an epic hero. You don't want to implement epic heroes because you want to get as much shards as much as possible for legendary heroes. So what I do is when I enter a memory retrieval, I put in Gloria because I want to get more copies of her. Uh, Ruia, I mean, Ruia, Ruia, she's not bad, but like since, since she is a legendary hero, I feel like getting more copies of her wouldn't be too bad. So if the level is too difficult, I will put in Ruia and then I'll put in Matha. These are the only three units I implement. And you guys can see that the more units that you implement, um, the chances of you getting more shards for that specific unit pretty much decreases. So if I put in, let's say, an Epicure right here, it goes to one to two. And I put this, it goes to one. So the more heroes you put in, the less shards you get. So that's why I recommend you guys to at least use a uh, three units or two. So that's a really nice system that they implemented into the game. I really like it. And yeah, really, really dope. So we have 1,500 um, summon resources right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. So we come over here to the summon banner. And I'm currently summoning for Barrow. I do want to get a copy of Barrow and hopefully i can get her i did like two multi summons so far so maybe we're going to be lucky enough to get her in our third uh, multi summon who knows but let's go ahead and pop it 
Here we go. Click confirm. All right. Can we get Barrow here, please? Come on. Ah, oh, it's an epic. It's an epic. Okay. Oh, uh, which epic do I want? I honestly want to get more lightning copies, to be honest. I want more lightning copies, more lash copies. I'll take butterfly. She's actually pretty decent. But give me lash or lightning copies. Or we can get a new epic unit. Okay, Stormbreaker, she's not bad. Lightning? Blade. This is actually new. I never got this epic unit before. Really interesting. We got another one. Angel! That's a W. That is a W. She's a really, really good epic healer. And I needed a healer. She's a W. I will actually take this. Oh, well, let's go ahead and continue. We got another one. Ooh, Tempest. Okay. Tempest is actually pretty decent too. No way. Okay. We'll take the angel copy as well. This is a really decent summon. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty decent. We got Blade, Stormbreaker, Angel, Tempest, and Angel, and another copy of Angel. And you guys see what I'm talking about. The amount of epic units you can get in one multi-summon is insane. That's why I recommend you guys to only use legendary heroes and that um i forgot what it's called the memory retrieval i think that's what it's called memory retrieval only use legendary units but that is crazy i can't believe we got um angel which is insane so let me come over here to characters and let me see what we got so we got stormbreaker we got her at i'll say s3 that's what they usually call dupes i'll say s3 but pretty nice. We got her at S3 or T3. And then for Tempest, we got him at T1. Let's go ahead and send him. This unit is actually pretty solid. I think I'm going to use him eventually. But he is a pretty solid um, you know, tank unit. And we also have Angel. I am 100% going to use Angel. She is literally amazing for an epic healer. Let's go ahead and ascend her. There we go. Start level up. I'm definitely using this unit. Definitely using her for sure. She's wonderful. So that was a pretty solid summon. And we also had Blade as well. Where is Blade at? If I can find him, there he is. We got this guy. Let me check out his kit real quick. So single target damage deals 1 to 30% damage. Before attacking, crit increases by 15%. The target is defeated, recovers 3 NRG. Okay. And then it says stab and dodge. So instant single target healing restores 25% of the target's HP. If the target is unharmed. Uh, what else we have when performing an active attack? Okay, this guy doesn't seem too bad. I'm going to read more of his kit later on. Um, It seems like he's some sort of support range type unit, which is very interesting overall. But I'm going to read his kit um, once I finish this video. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys in the video. Just wanted to talk about that one single mistake and hopefully this, uh, not this mistake, but me telling you guys about this mistake can pretty much help you out. So make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.